Okay, hello, welcome. So, we have this lesson for today about synthetic division. Okay, synthetic division is for grade 10 math, which is uh, first quarter lesson. We have the module 2, the polynomials and polynomial equation, and this is lesson 1, division of polynomials. So, after this video um, discussion, we're, we will going to have your activity. Okay, so... Uh, now, let's study about synthetic division. Okay, so there is a shorter procedure when a polynomial is to be divided by a binomial of the form x minus r. This method is called synthetic division. In this procedure, we write only the coefficients. Okay, we have some steps to use in synthetic division. Um, let's have this example number one. Use synthetic division to divide uh, p of x, 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8 by x plus 2. Okay, so now we have the first step. We will going to arrange the coefficients of the p of x or the dividend in descending power of x. So, ibig sabihin... Uh, isusulat natin um, yung polynomials from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. And then, placing zeros for the missing terms. Okay? Then, the leading coefficient of the P of X or dividend becomes the first entry of the third row. Okay? So, now let's have this one. Okay? So, this is our dividend, 3x cubed plus 4x square plus 8. Okay, so if you are going to observe, um, we have the missing term which is x. Okay, based on the given step, we're going to place 0, place 0 for the missing terms. That is 0x. Okay, now we have again 3x cubed plus 4x square plus 0x plus 8. Okay, so next. have the step number two place the value of r in the upper left corner so this is the upper left corner okay so in this example x minus r is equal to x plus 2 okay so x plus 2 we're going to solve for r so x minus times the x uh, times negative 2 so, for x, we have x plus 2 equate to 0. And then you transpose 2 to the other side. So, now it becomes x equals negative 2. So, r is equal to negative 2. So, negative 2, we're, uh, we're going to write negative 2 on the upper left corner. Okay, so now let's continue. Step number 3. The first number... And the second row, which is negative 6, is the product of r of negative 2 and the number in the third row 3 of the preceding column. Okay, so this is negative 6. Um, 3 times negative 2, we have negative 6. Okay, so now let's continue. 
the second number in the third row is negative 2. It is the sum of the two numbers 4 and negative 6. Okay, again, 4 plus negative 6 equals negative 2. Now we have step number 4. Repeat the procedure described in step 3 until the last number in the third row is obtained. Okay, so again, uh, we have to write 3 or bring down 3 and then 3 times negative 2, negative 6. And then we add 4 plus negative 6, negative 2. Then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Then 0 plus 4 equals Four. Then 4 times negative 2 equals negative 8. And 8 plus negative 8 equals 0. Okay, so next step number 5. Write the quotient or q of x. Then note that the degree of q of x is 1 less than the degree of p of x. The entries in the third row give the coefficients of q of x and the remainder r. Okay, so um, third row, 3, negative 2, 4, 0 will become, uh, it will become the quotient. Okay, um, to write the quotient, uh, we're going to have the degree less than, 1 less than the degree of the dividend. When we say degree, it is the highest exponent of the polynomials. Okay, so in this example, the highest exponent is 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So that would be our um, quotient or the, the degree of our quotient. We have 3x squared, then negative 2x plus 4. Okay. A concise form of steps 1 to 5 is shown below. We have the divisor, x plus 2. The dividend, x cubed, uh, 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8. The quotient, 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. And the remainder, 0. Okay, so if we're going to write in the form of p of x, or the dividend, we have 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8. D of x, or the dividend, we have x plus 2. Q of x, or the quotient, we have 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. And R of x, or remainder, is 0. Okay, so let's have another example. Use synthetic division to find the quotient of x raised to 4 plus 8x squared minus 5x cubed minus 2 plus 15x divided by x minus 3. Okay, solution. Um, as you can see, or if you're going to observe the given dividend, um, it is not in a standard form. Okay, so the dividend is not in standard form. So, there is a need to rearrange the terms of the polynomials. Okay, we're going to arrange the polynomials from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. Okay, so in this example, um, the dividend would be, it will become x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 8x squared plus 15x minus 2. Okay, again, the dividend is x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 8x squared plus 15x minus 2. Okay, again, uh, this is in the form of a standard form because the exponents, uh, the exponents are ranged in highest to lowest. Okay, now we're going to determine what are the coefficients. Okay, x raised to 4, the coefficient is 1. Negative 5x cubed, the coefficient is negative 5. 8x squared, the coefficient is 8. 
15x, the coefficient is 15, and we have negative 2. Okay. Then our divisor is x minus 3. Okay. We're going to solve for x. So we equate to 0, and then transpose 3 to the other side. So negative, with negative it becomes positive, or it will change to sign. And we have x equals 3. Okay, then write the coefficients of the polynomial in the first row. Follow the steps described in example 1. Okay, so let's have first the coefficients. We have 1, negative 5, 8, 15, and negative 2. And our divisor is 3. Okay, now let's write 1 to the third row. Then 1 times 3 equals 3. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And 8 plus negative 6 is positive 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. Then 15 plus 6 is 21. Then 21 times 3 equals 63. Negative 2 plus 63 equals 61. Okay, again, our third row coefficients are 1, negative 2, 2, 21, and 61. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin sa quotient natin. Again, remember, um, we subtract the degree of the dividend for the coefficient. Okay, so therefore, if the quotient or the degree of the dividend is 4, um, then the degree of the quotient is 3. Okay, so we have x cubed, negative 2x squared, plus 2x, plus 21, and the remainder is 61. Okay, now identify what is the P of x or the dividend, that is, x raised to 4 plus 8x squared minus 5x cubed minus 2 plus 15x. In a standard form, it is x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 8x squared plus 15x minus 2. Okay, our d of x or the divisor is x minus 3. And the quotient or the cube of x is 3 or x cubed. Minus 2x squared plus 2x plus 21. And our remainder is 61. Okay, so it's time for your activity. Use synthetic division to find the quotient and remainder in each of the following. Okay, so we have 3. Then you're going to find the quotient and the remainder using synthetic division. Okay, good luck. Thank you for watching. For more math video lesson, uh, visit my FB group, Math Video Lesson or Reviewer, and YouTube channel, Math Ish. Okay, thank you.